Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright guys, so today I felt a little festive and I've always been wanting to go to a Coachella or some sort of music festival and I have not been able to go. So today we're bringing Coachella to us. As you can tell, I already had foundation on, I already had lid primer, and I just went in with a nude color just to prime and just set everything in place. And I also do have my brows on, guys. Alright, so I wanted to go in with these kind of orangey reddish color for my lid. You can go in with whatever color you want. I just went ahead and used a shadow fluffy brush and I just kind of extended it a little bit further than I normally would on a daily basis uh but you guys with this kind of kind of makeup you want to go all out you want to be dramatic because everyone there is going to be dramatic and you just want to fit in you don't want to go all glam or like super cash just bring out your inner diva all right guys and that is what I did I came out with some really cool things and I'm really loving this look all right, so the next thing is I went in with like a reddish orangey color and I'm just going to go ahead and pack that on on the outer corner as you can see and I kind of extend it out a little bit. I kind of want the wing, not necessarily the wing, but I kind of want the shadows to kind of go ombre on the lid. So um, pack on the color and then kind of soften up on the outer corner so it's not as red it's the darkest it would be in the inner corner sorry on the outer corner well you guys I'm really bad at explaining but you guys can see what I'm doing it's super easy honestly guys anyone can create this look uh, of course we're using the tape and that always helps so a tip is always use tape and you're gonna get that sharp precise line then I wanted to kind of throw in a goldish shimmery color on the lid but before that I went in with a uh, fix plus and I spritzed my brush just to really get that pigmentation on the lid now I don't go all over the lid I just go in the inner corner as you can see and I go halfway Alright guys, here's where we're going to start to get a little bit more creative. I'm going to go ahead and take this face painting palette and I'm going to use that gold color that you see and I'm going to go ahead and wing my eyes a little bit. Look at how nice that gold color goes on. It's so smooth. I highly recommend it if you're looking for face paints. We're going to go ahead and prep our lashes with some mascara right before we apply our lashes. I just took a pair of lashes that I found laying around and I went ahead and stacked them. And honestly guys, I love these and I will link them down below for you guys. But I didn't like them and then I loved them after I stacked them. After that, we're going to go ahead and reveal our finished look. And we're going to go ahead and clean it up with concealer. I love this concealer by the way. And then we're going to just take the beauty blender and blend it all out. Once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and set it with this Dermala Blend Setting Powder. Again, I love. And then we're going to go ahead and kind of contour the face a little bit. We're going to chisel out those cheekbones. As you can see, that brush was not working. Then I went ahead and took a different brush. It's actually a paintbrush that I got from it little um, paintbrush brush kit. I mean, it worked all right. And we're just gonna contour our whole face. <laughs> Don't mind the shadow in the background. Blend it all out, guys. Blend it all out. Oh my God, that shadow is just bothering me. Okay guys, we're going to jump back into the eyes and we're just going to take a dome shader brush and I'm going to go ahead and use the same colors that I used on my lid and I'm going to repeat them on the bottom. 
All right, I decided that I wanted to add a little bit of jewels. Um, they're actually not jewels, it's glitter. But I took some of my lash glue and just dotted it with the end of a brush. And I just went ahead and just placed them. I placed, I think, three at the bottom. Um, I was kind of trying to see where else I wanted them, but pretty much I placed three at the bottom. Next, I went ahead and took this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil powder to just set my contour in place. I love this powder and it smells amazing. After we are done with that, I'm going to go ahead and take this Laura Mercier um, Peach Blush. Love, love, love. Man, that is peach and it goes perfect with this look. And of course, I over packed it on my face, but it's okay because we're being dramatic, okay? We got to be dramatic in here. Next, I went ahead and took this Ofra Liquid Lipstick. It's like an orange coral color. I thought it went perfect with this look as well. And yeah, we're just going to put that all over our lips. Dun, 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 dun. The most exciting part, guys. Highlighter. Oh, yeah. We're going to take Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Oh, this is amazing. I love this highlighter. Look at it, you guys. And it gets even more intense. Just watch. All right, to make our face even extra dewy, we're gonna take the Tatcha Luminous Skin Mist. Amazing. All right, and then right after you're done setting your face with that um, mist, you wanna go in with the highlighter again, and then this is really gonna give you that intense, bam, in your face highlighter, and that's what we're going for, guys. That is the look that I want. I want to glow to the gods. <laughs> Who says that? Oh my gosh. Such a nerd. All right, and then highlight the brow bone as well. All right, guys, I didn't realize that I wasn't recording this part, but basically, as you can tell, I added a couple little glitter chunks on top of my eyebrows. I thought it looked a little bit more festive this way. I don't know, I love it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I don't. I really had so much fun filming this look for you guys. It was totally out of my comfort zone, but I was just feeling it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my March favorites. Oh my gosh, I know this month has been crazy. Alright, so like always, I always start off with beauty products first. So the first beauty product that I have been loving is an oldie but a goodie. We have here our Bare Minerals um, Original Powder. You guys, I swear, I have gone through so many of these. I always venture off and try different foundation, different types of powders, but I never get tired of this one. Like, I always go back. Like, this is my ride or die, like, foundation that I've repurchased over and over, even when I've tried other things. I always seem to come back to this. I do want to say that I like the original one, but I did notice that this one has a little bit of a speckle. All right, like so the next thing that I have been loving like so much, you guys, and I highly recommend that you go out and buy it. I think that it's gonna be fabulous for the summertime and the spring and summertime because it's gonna give you that very, if you are somebody that doesn't like to highlight 
like do that crazy stark highlight, but you still want a little bit of the glow that looks like you're just naturally glowing and glistening from within. I recommend you using this one. I love this one. It's by Laura Geller and it's the Baked Blush and Brighten. It's the Honeysuckle color. Absolutely love this one, you guys. This is the infamous Shape Tape Tarte Concealer that everyone's been talking about, you guys. And honestly, I love it. If you have not tried this concealer, go out and try it. I feel like this is the only concealer that genuinely does not crease as much as any other concealer that I've ever used. Like, I swear to you guys, this is amazing. I love it. The only thing that I do want to mention, if you guys go out and buy it, don't be surprised if your skin legit turns like a tomato red. Like, this is going to make your face, like, look super, super red, but don't be scared. It will go away, like, about an hour later or sometimes 35 minutes. The first time that I did it, I left it on for a very long time. So when I took it off, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, is this normal? 